Alright everyone, here is uh, Megafil X. Uh, it feels weird to be doing another Let's Play, it's been a long time. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna be playing Mega Man Unlimited, which is our game here. <laughs> so it's obviously not a blind Let's Play. I just wanna um, thank everyone who's, be who's been playing the game and everyone who's been giving us such nice comments on the game. It's obviously much bigger than I anticipated and a lot more people are playing it than, uh, than I thought. So again, thank you guys. Uh, we're obviously all very tired. Um, we're probably gonna do an update on the game at some point soon. It's not clear exactly when. We still need to you know, think about what we're doing. So here we go. Oh, all right, now we're gonna go after Gloomen first. Gloomen is actually one of the first bosses, robot masters that I designed when I was a kid, so... Here we go. For these guys, I advise everyone to just take them out once they have, once you have dodged their three shots. Otherwise they will interrupt and they will fire all of them right away, so it will be a problem. Uh, now the bullet trap enemies that you've seen here is uh, the enemy which if you fire shots at it, uh, the, your shots will stick to it and then you will fire your shots back at you. The shot will be uh, deflected depending on where it hit. Now this guy here is a bit tricky because his shots are not timed with the moments where you can hit him. So the, uh, the, the copter cannon you've seen down there is placed exactly so that if you hit the bullet trap, uh, your shots will hit the cannon right away. Like it's placed in the perfect at the perfect angle to, to hit. You. Here, stick the ceiling, no problem. You can shoot while you're on the ceiling, so it's gonna help. People have been complaining about the difficulty of the game, so one of the things we're considering in our uh, next update is uh, to uh, have an easy mode. But uh, we're not gonna do a, we're probably not gonna do like a Mega Man 10, but you know, adding new platforms and change the whole game. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're probably gonna uh, increase the damage you take. Uh, we're gonna influence certain objects, such as the lasers and Rainbow Man stage that will uh, probably fire a little bit later, give you more time to react. Uh, we're also probably gonna increase the delay before the nitro platforms explode, uh, depending on the difficulty you've selected. You know that, uh, that enemy that does a full screen flash attack, the flasher we, we call it, um, basically it's inspired by an enemy in the Facts and Ado game on the NES. There's these little guys that, um, blue guys that they basically walk back and forth and if you remain on the screen for too long, uh, they do a lot of damage. The whole screen flashes and they do a lot of damage. So it's directly inspired from that. I thought, hey, maybe it would be nice in my Blue Man stage, you know, to have those kinds of enemies that, you know, since the floor sticks, you'll have, uh, you will really have to hurry up, hurry over, and uh, take that, take that enemy down. So that was the last Platypressor enemy. 
toughest one because you have to do some pretty fancy jumping around to evade it. Here I recommend going through the top path because it's easier. Pretty much every time there's an alternate path it's more it's better to take the top one. Now after the first uh, platypus enemy you've seen that there's a, there seems to be an alternate path. That path actually doesn't have any Yoku letter in it, so uh, it's not there. It's uh, just a shortcut basically, because I know the stage is quite long, so it's basically just a shortcut. If uh, you think, if if you have the proper weapons, you can go through this shortcut uh, easily and basically skip the other mid bosses and, and those spike sections too. Now here you have to avoid jumping because the that enemy will jump do a, a long jump if you're in the air, basically like the jump the jumper enemies, the crusher enemies in the in the Mega Man 10 and stuff. So you have to avoid jumping, which is hard because the floor is sticky. So all right, here we go. We're facing Glue Man here. So Glue Man is really a matter of rhythm and keeping the timing right, so you have to keep up with them. I actually had this idea of a kind of like a skateboarding blue man when I was a kid, so, so this is fresh from my like teenage mind. So the, the glue shot would always be fired at wherever you were standing, so keep moving and try to switch sides with him. And it's not too bad. But he does a lot of damage when he collides with you, so you gotta be careful. Doing pretty good actually. Whoa! Whoa! There we go. Alright, we're done. Blue Man is down. I don't really recommend to go against Blue Man first though, because it's pretty tough and uh, the, the special weapons will really help you in this stage. Especially his weakness, it actually, actually it absolutely destroys him. It, took, it was, it looks like it was engineered to kill him. <laughs> so let's save here. All right. Oh, oh I was lucky. You see, on the on the on the left here, uh, it's actually shampoo instead of roll. It's just a little Easter egg. There's like a tiny random chance that shampoo will show up uh, in the shop screen so here we are it's like like three percent chances that she will show up and she actually shows up here it's just because it's uh, my favorite anime character it's like the only pretty much the only easter egg there is in the game <laughs> all right so which one should I do next? <laughs> Alright, see you later.